Not the only, not the only people living in teepees. Are yo, homeless people. yo, yo. So on Columbus Day, they were like, "Oh, it's Indigenous Peoples Day." I know, I'm like, I'm like, I know so many Sopranos that are so yeah. mad right now. Well, and also the day after Thanksgiving is Indigenous People Day. It's like, what are we doing? <laughs> how many, how many do they need to get? And I, and I like it's like, but the, the thing that's the thing that's funniest to me. What's is, messed up is I'm Native American and black, so like both of me is just like, I, like I can get with that. <laughs> I can get with it, you know, man. But, Fuck Christopher Columbus, nigga. The, the, the funny thing to me is, have you been in a meeting? This is this is only within oh, the last man. year. Have you been in a meeting where they start the meeting and they're like, "I want to pay respects to all the people that occupied this land before we got." Have you been in a meeting like that? One, if it starts like that, fucking, I want to shoot myself in the head. Oh man. But two, they name like ten tribes. And it's like, how the fuck do you think tribe number three got that fucking land, dummies? They took the fucking land from tribe number fucking two, and two took it from one. You guys yeah. are acting like, like, oh, oh, you want you want to borrow this land now? Here you go. Here, here, you can borrow it. I I think a mistake is to like not acknowledge the fact that like other countries took over other. I mean, look at what That's, Russia and Ukraine is doing right now. That's literally conquest. Right. That has nothing to do with anything political. That's literally conquest. For sure. Well, well everything that we have today is based on conquest. Dude, Genghis Khan killed so many people, he changed the temperature of the earth. That's insane. His grandchild, Kublai Khan, did the same thing. And it's like it, there's some crazy number like like he's he's like like 10% of Chinese people are related to Genghis Khan because he raped so many people. It's some insane number. And he, and not only that, but like his grandson, fought, like his grandson pushed the idea of I don't care what religion you worship, as long as you serve me. Yeah, and I think like that's hard for me. Like Kublai Khan is one of the is one of my most like like he's your idol. Yeah, like I love Kublai Khan. Because he was like, I'm not fucking with none of that shit. I don't care if I'm a Buddhist. I don't care what you worship, but I will cut your head off Literally. if you don't pay me tribute. Yeah. Like you could work, you could be. He had Christians, he had Muslims, yeah. he had all kinds of people within his empire, and it's just like for for that, it's so raw to me that you just like you were like, I don't care what you worship as long as you pay me my gold. Like I fuck with I fuck with shit like that where it's like, go ahead worship whatever you want to worship, but you know who you kicking up your ten percent to. Yeah, I mean that's that's kind of how the Romans did it too. The Romans would come in and build a bunch of shit, and like as long as you didn't cause any problems, dude, who gives a shit? And then people were like, oh, but what happened to Constantine and all the other shit? I was like, uh, Mimit was like. Oh, fuck that Roman Empire shit. We're going to run with the Ottoman Empire. And then the Ottoman Empire came in. Yeah, nigga, I do know my history. Motherfucker, yeah. I do know some shit. But, but, but I, I, I can't, I hate how people, just to circle back to the Native American thing, I hate how people act as if this was such a unique situation. It's not. It's, ha it's, it's the history of the world. It's, it, that's what I'm saying. Like, they're, they're, there's yeah. always going to be oppressors and the oppressed. That's, that's just the way the world is. Yeah. There's always going to be somebody that takes over from the last thing. And and it could be somebody who's more nobler or anything like that. It, it really doesn't matter to me. It's just like. Well, what's noble to one person is not exactly. Noble to I mean, person. I'm someone who's a big stance of evil is just uh, a, a word that the ignorant and the weak has made. I mean, that's just something that I believe. Like, I'm just like, it, like, like calling somebody evil or something is just something that the ignorant and the weak say. You know, and, and and that's just what I what I view about. Well, that. well, if, if the only evil is outward, if you never can look at your own, whatever it is, yourself yeah. or your group or whatever and go, yeah, we've done some pretty fucked up shit. There. Yeah, but I still am with what I said. I, I, I very much think that uh, uh, stuff like that is, is very contrived of the.